I mean, we, we talk about it all the time. Disney, they have zero near near to zero liquidity right now. They can't oh, no, they, they'd have to sell real estate. Yeah. Disney will never die. I've never seen it die, but it's it, yeah. it will never it, its current incarnation is dying. In yes. about yes, 10 it years, is. it will be something different. Whether it will be uh whether it will it will re revert to what it used to be or transform into an entirely different bad beast yet not as that is powerful as what as it was during the heights of the past uh, 15 years i don't know but the current incarnation with its atrophied limbs that are pixar lucasfilm marvel marvel studios uh, and and a couple other things there that that's dying the host has got to cut off those limbs cuz those limbs are killing it it can't it can't it can't sustain itself and it's and this is just this is just my opinion. The only way to fix this <clears throat> is to put out Deadpool versus Wolverine. There are jokes, obviously, in there about how shitty Disney mm -hmm. is right now. Mm -hmm. To lob everything off at the head, almost do one last Avengers movie with the original cast, bring them back, and then probably hardcore reset everything after maybe at least a five year de delay. Marvel that, Studios wise, now Lucasfilm. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how Star oh, Wars comes well, back. Well, no, Star Wars, Star Wars is, is so dead. It's Disney yeah, Star no Wars point. is dead. Yeah, I mean, these stands want to pretend online that it's the greatest thing ever. That the High Republic is so successful. That the Bad Batch is the greatest nope. in the world. Connecting all the different eras of Disney Star Wars and real Star Wars. It, what they call real Star, what they think is real Star Wars, but it isn't. It isn't. It is a complete and total failure. In about let's see, uh, March, April, May. June in four months, the acolyte is going to grace us with its presence. <laughs> you know how you revive Star Wars? You get rid of Kathleen Kennedy. You get rid of all the the vultures on oh, the inside of it. You bring in are, people who actually give a shit. You well, give it ten years, and then you you do Knights of the Old Republic. Well, no. what you do an is actual you, actual you buy adaptation. It from Dizzy. Dizzy cannot own it. Yeah. Though. Disney yeah, it's, not it's, I don't think they'll ever sell it, dudes. I don't think they'll ever oh, sell no, it. Oh, I think they will. I, it, it, they lose so much money on it. It makes no money. And no, they and can't. it's not, and they can't use it as an indoctrination tool because nobody's watching. So it's not even valuable as that. <laughs> Who do you think would probably be the best people to buy it if they do sell it? I don't say, know. See, that's a thing. It's an would, independent source. It can't be one of these big studios. No, they all be, have the same problem. Yeah. Like, uh, a, a, lot, a lot of people point to Disney purchasing MC, the MCU as being the death of the MCU, but paramount's also an insane company like we talk about all the time what would the mm -hmm. mcu look like now if they'd never sold the rights to disney the paramount mcu phase three four five whatnot that would still be a disaster so just selling it to a different studio can't yeah. be the solution we need here's the thing a third party people want to say they want elon to buy disney that's not feasible no it's more feasible mm -hmm. he could just buy lucasfilm which he has hinted at in the past in various comments about being a, a true Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. That is because Lucasfilm is not worth $4 billion anymore. Oh, God, no. It's not even, it's worth a fraction of that. No, I, I'd probably say you, I'd probably offer you at best one one point five billion. Yeah, so Elon could easily buy Lucasfilm. Now, I'm not saying he's going to, I'm just using that as an example, because yeah. if you want to say they wanted to buy Disney, that's not feasible. But buying a, buying a piece of Disney that doesn't make them any money, that is actually draining money i mean they they lost on lucasfilm alone last year they lost a billion dollars between oh, everything on disney plus and indiana jones they lost a billion dollars mm -hmm. um, and, 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 well, and that would probably disaster. be the best way to hurt disney because if he does just try to get on the board he's not going to have 100 percent influence and it's not really going to change anything but if he well, buys lucasfilm outright makes a great star wars film that makes money and it becomes profitable all of a sudden that just looks bad reputation wise and that's going to hurt disney more than anything else yeah, I, i've always said this I've, since i started this channel i've said our job as real Star Wars fans is to collect, protect, and preserve it until a better custodian comes along that mm -hmm. will shepherd it into shepherd George's vision into the future. I could e and, easily see Elon doing X Studios. It's easily SpaceX. He, uh, you know, he, he I still call it Twitter. I always call it Twitter, letter, but still. Yeah. He needs but, to have I mean, bread of brand. That's a, that just has porn written all over it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> studios. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, let's go take a tour of X Studios. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sure there's all kinds of great things going on there. Oh.
Uh, but that I, I think they're going to sell Lucasfilm. It's the first thing to go, but they're not going to. It's not going to happen until Kathleen Kennedy walks mm-hmm. away. She's never going to be fired. Her contract is no. up this year. Her contract is up in December. If, according to our good friend Mustang, who has history understanding how this stuff works, if we don't mm-hmm. hear anything in April about a contract renewal from her, because that's when contract renewals happen of this sort, yeah. she's going to let it expire, and she's walking in December, which means they're going to they're going to put a patsy, and I use the example Dave Filoni just because it's the fun one for me. They're going to put a <laughs> patsy in place for two for twenty twenty five, and watch as it just gets worse and worse. And then in 2026, the whispers will begin that Lucasfilm is for sale. This that's just a, a that's just a a realistic timeline as I see it. You can maybe add a year or more to that, but I think that's how it's going to break down because you bought it for four billion dollars, you've grossed more than that, but you haven't actually made profit on Disney in easily five years. I mean, sorry, Star Wars on five years. Disney has made profit Star Wars five years. So they have no reason outside of the fee, whatever fear Kathleen Kennedy has because she knows where all the skeletons are buried to keep it going. And once yeah. she's gone, there's no reason to anymore. That's it's my go, theory, and I'm sticking to it. I'd go even farther back and say that it's never made money for them because they haven't recouped their initial investment in purchasing mm-hmm. Lucasfilm as a whole. So not Probably just not. the last five years, the, the last yeah, 10, no. 11 at this point. I'm just being I mean, generous with, with, yeah. my, with, with my with my. So what? So the 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 Force Awakens made uh what two point zero mm-hmm. one billion um, on a four hundred million dollar budget. Yeah, on a four hundred million dollar something like that. So and it then of profited course, about uh, a. Add a little more in there. It made probably in, a little under a billion dollars. In yeah, profit. the last Jedi was like we'll what one point four one point four billion. It had it had a big drop. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course the the rise of nobody cares. Um, <laughs> made literally barely 1.01 billion. One, yeah, yeah. So the the movies didn't make four billion dollars. No, merch, they didn't. The merch didn't make four oh, billion, God, no. $4 billion dollars. Uh, not a single TV show has Be, because, earned because it's, it's Disney Plus. Because by by the time the the Rise of Skywalker came came out, um, they were pushing their garbage merch and and not classic Star Wars merchandise, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, look look at. <laughs> nobody cares about kylo ren sorry no but i i think that adam driver uh, i think you know as a marine i think he's an awesome uh, legitimate awesome this actor. Had nothing with adam driver yeah, and, and, you know we're not talking but, about him yeah no we you know we don't even with the possible uh over a skywalker movie uh nobody cares right and that's not daisy ridley's I care fault because no. i want to make more money than it does yeah, it's not Daisy Ridley's fault. It's just nobody cares about the character. Yeah, like yeah. the you s- tried to you tried to salvage it too little too late. They're like because the opening fucking thing of that is like, oh, she's running through the forest and she's she's training, and it's like now she's training now finally. That's with Star Leia. 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 Yeah. Leia. Ugh. But you add okay, so they didn't make they didn't make any money on Star Wars. We just did we did some 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 rushed math, but you guys can get the picture. Then add in the failure on Disney Plus, including all the shows. Add in the failure of Willow. Oh God! Oh man, and they dropped Willow so fast. Then Indiana Jones. That's yeah. probably the thing that hurt them the most because it was so publicized. Mm-hmm. They didn't. And they didn't budget they didn't was insane. It. Yeah. What else has Lucasfilm done? Nothing. Nothing. So none of those things have made that four billion dollar profit. In fact, they've any money they were getting edging towards the four billion recouping from from selling it from buying it from george on the on the sequel trilogy they lost it with everything else they they're they're lower than what they were so disney has never made money on lucasfilm because remember lucasfilm was a studio all unto itself that made billions of dollars all on its own with its divisions in gaming and literature Mm-hmm. My literature, I mean books, and even though mm-hmm. even though they had they had deals with Del Rey and deals with Bantam for years, for a while, all the new Jedi Order books there that says Lucas books on it. For a while, mm-hmm. they were printing the books themselves. Now, maybe and then the merchandising part, too. Yeah. Well, merchandising—that's what really made George all his money originally. Mm-hmm. Original uh, from 1977 to 2012, Star Wars merch was real, and people bought it mm-hmm. without blinking. Oh, now, those are the Rock best jokes of Spaceballs. Yeah. Mm. Well, we'll also we look to, to this day. With you. Look to this day. Um, I mean, LucasArts was mass- massively successful with yes. all of their gaming franchises. Name one Star Wars game 
to this day that you enjoy actually playing current day. People are probably going to pull up stuff, Mm -hmm. are going to pull up stuff like I still people here. People play the old republics. People still play Knights of the Old Republic. They play, you know, they play these things that have old nothing to do. Yeah. That, that wasn't. Well, that was we it was a it was perfect EA. example Bottom right order, now. Order. The biggest announcement in Star Wars for the last two years is the knowledge that they are bringing. They're porting the original Battlefront mm-hmm. games. That yep. is the most excitement I've seen about Star Wars in years, and yeah. that is an ancient. No money. Yeah, Lucas Arts game. Yeah, it's uh, not even and, remastered. It's just ported, I think. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and look right. at the, look at the whole the whole um, remaster uh, of um, no, not remaster, well, remake of uh, Knights of the Old Republic. They they were talking about that <laughs> yeah, thing. Man. That thing got so much damn backlash that they were like, "Oh, bro, we gotta get out of here." Like, like they, we gotta they, bounce. They put, they, they put a massive SJW in charge of it, mm-hmm. and we exactly. all instantly. Did what we're supposed to do. We we shown the light of truth on it and yeah. pointed and said, "Look, this is this person. This is what they do. This is what they say." And when saying, "Oh, we're gonna just rewrite the whole thing," yeah. what? No, well, you're not gonna do that. Well, at least there's the Ubisoft Outcast game or whatever that's still coming out, right? Yay! Or Eclipse or whatever. Yeah, out outlaw outlaw outlaw. Yeah, that's oh, that's right. right. Yeah, I mean, we spent we did a mill of money's where we went over that trailer. That game is gonna be successful what is that only, o- only because. Of its gameplay, people are going to probably like the gameplay, but the story is going to be shit because it's another Disney Star Wars well, stooping into actual lore, trying to fit something in mm-hmm. square peg through round hole. It's still Ubisoft though, so I yeah. want to trust their gameplay. Their last few games have been kind of rough <laughs> gameplay, point. like Mirage. You would know. You oh, would know. Mirage's gameplay is horrendous. Says. Any, anyone have put anyone does anybody really anybody seriously real gamers real star wars fans who are gamers is anybody really want to play fake not han solo smuggler girl no not with really her, with her fugly face and furry animal and robot that all the weirdos want to fuck does anybody actually want to play that character no you wonder if we could make a custom character and then maybe put a little bit of ourselves into it, but no chick with a ugly chick with a bent nose is going to be running around being girl boss, probably mm-hmm. gay so, too. All, all you have to do is Google Star Wars Outlaws. It says initial release date twenty twenty four. Then you go down to to Ubisoft just below it. It gives a brief description and then it highlights no release date yet announced. So they've pushed this thing back. It's not happening this year. No, no, it is not happening. This no, year. it's not at, happening at, this year. At best, I'll say fourth quarter next year. At best. Wow. To try and get a holiday bump. Disney has no path to success. None of these companies, corporations, have paths to success with the IPs they sp- they paid way too much money for because they didn't know how to handle it. Because what happens when you have all these franchises that you own but don't have the actual creators involved anymore? What happens? You lose your way. There's no yeah, actual you get, quality. Yeah, you get people who, who don't who don't care about the source material. Uh, as oh. much as the original creators for the most part now i mean you can get super fans like probably many of us who will do the best we can is it ever going to be the same no it's not going to be the no. same but at least it'd be something that you can be like you know what at least they cared enough to try to give it the best shot but when you have that... people who who are official, so official, official. actively hate all of us they they loathe all of us doesn't matter if you're white, black, or indifferent. If you if you talk out against this crap, they fucking hate you. And they call you all these names. Like, they hate you because you don't agree with their ideology. And that's all it is. That's all it is. You bring, you bring up that point. Even a super fan, someone who really cares about something, we aren't the creator. We don't know where it came from deep in their heart and their soul. We don't know where it might have wanted to go. We don't know things they left out. All we know is what they've given us. And therefore... We can't truly recreate something. Mm-hmm. That's that's right, which is why people who try to adapt something without creators inevitably fail. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at thewearnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at ROAS, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.